a uh, electrolytic cell that is useful is uh, using electrolysis, using current to break uh, down chemicals. Such as the one pictured here and the one you did uh, in the laboratory, uh, electrolysis of water. So you take water, liquid phase, and you use a current to produce hydrogen and oxygen. All right, so let's figure out what's being, uh, what's going on here. What's being oxidized? What's being reduced? Doesn't this, that sound like fun? You're probably curious. As soon as I wrote this, you're like, "Hi, hey, I wonder what's being oxidized and I wonder what's being reduced," since this is a redox reaction. All right, so what's the uh, oxidation state of hydrogen in water? Oh, plus one. Plus one. Thank you. What about oxygen in water? Negative two. Does that sum to equal zero, the charge of the molecule? Mm -hmm. two, two hydrogens, so two plus ones and a minus two? Yeah, that will work. What is the oxidation state of hydrogen in hydrogen? Yeah. Zero. So they, even if hydrogen oxygen by themselves. Hydrogen by themselves, yeah. elemental. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What about oxygen and oxygen? All right, so hydrogen is going from a plus one to a zero. What's going on with hydrogen? Um, oxygen lost. Lost or gained? Oxygen. It gained. It redu It was reduced. Went from a plus one to zero. Reduced. That's ger. It gained electrons. So hydrogen uh, in water is gaining electrons and how many one electron initially to form hydrogen and then each of those hydrogens is gaining one and there's two total so it's two electrons total uh, what's going on with uh, oxygen going from a minus two to a zero Oxidized, losing electrons? Yeah, so the oxygen in water is losing the electrons. Each oxygen atom is losing uh, two, and then there's two oxygen atoms in each oxygen, so we're losing four electrons in total. There's two oxygens. Nailed it. But anyways, so essentially what we're doing in this electrolysis experiment or this electrolysis reaction is we're taking electrons from oxygen and we're giving them to hydrogen. And then that produces O2 and hydrogen. All right. Exciting stuff. Yes, you did. In the Avogadro's number experiment. I did. I did. No, it wasn't it. No, we did, we did a little bit bigger. All right. I think that's actually a, a one of those big, like, there's batteries that are like this big that look like this. I don't know what they're used for. So I think this is a pretty big size. It's like a beaker. It's not like, this isn't like a nine volt battery. Like, that'd be pretty cool if you had like little tiny beakers that small, like right next to a nine volt battery, like our little baby beakers, little, Oh, so like remote control? Okay, yeah. So yeah, those are those are heavy duty. See, this is super heavy duty. 
Not just heavy duty, super heavy duty. And it's from Ever Ready. Do you think Tro gets money for all this product placement he does in his book? You don't think? Maybe? Because if that market's out there, maybe I need to tap into it. Like, I'll like <laughs> bring in products. Like, I'll talk about like pens I use. Expo markers are great. <laughs> Uh, so uh, oxygen, oxygen went from a minus two to a zero. And so we know it's losing two electrons, all right? So when I came down here though, I know I'm gonna have to balance the oxygen. There's two oxygens. And so I'm gonna need uh, two electrons for each oxygen, two times two, four. Did I get it right? Okay. All right, so, um, that electrolysis uh, reaction is actually how a, uh, a lot of metals, not a lot, but some metals are produced. Okay, I'll just say some. Uh, like sodium, all right? So sodium, the metal, is very reactive. And so when you, you're, you're not gonna go out there and find sodium out in nature. You're not gonna dig up sodium, okay? You're gonna find sodium chloride and sodium and lots of other compounds, but you're never just gonna find sodium. So how do we get sodium? We have to make it. Okay. And so what you do is you take a uh, sodium chloride sample. All right. It has to be sodium chloride. It can't be aqueous sodium chloride because hydrogen or water, hydrogen and water uh, will uh, take electrons before sodium does. And so you take this sodium chloride and you molten so the ions can move. Okay. So heat it up, melt it, liquid sodium chloride. No, liquid. Liquid sodium chloride. So you got to heat it up. And um, basically, you're taking the electrons back from chloride, take an electron from chloride, give it back to sodium. And you make sodium the metal that way. All right. You also make chlorine gas. And that is corrosion. All right. So corrosion is the natural oxidation. of metals and compounds uh, by oxygen in the atmosphere. And we're all pretty much uh, most familiar with rust, you know, iron rusting, iron on, uh, you know, from cars or this uh, building, okay? Um, it's actually a, not a, not a real complex, but it's a, a fairly complex uh, redox reaction where iron actually is oxidized twice. It goes from iron, iron to iron plus two, and then finally to iron plus three, and that's the rust. And of course, this happens uh, better in, uh, Solution, and so water promotes it, so the more water around it is. It also uh, occurs, it needs electrolytes for those electrons to transfer. So salt, um, like we talked about salting roads up north in winter, that promotes the rusting of iron. And also, it usually happens in acidic conditions, all right? And rain is naturally acidic uh, because when it's falling from the clouds, it absorbs carbon dioxide, and carbon dioxide sets up equilibrium with carbonic acid, and so rain is naturally a little bit of acidic, so most, I don't know about most, but that's you know one cause of it, uh, the acidic nature um, 